Phil's got some helicopter stuff he's selling. Yeah. I used Give to fly. Him. Way, huh? I don't know how to fly helicopters, but I used to fly them. These, these were good. <laughs> you should try. I should. Oh, look at these. Look at this. A freaking Wheelie King. HPI Wheelie King. Um, I've done some HPI content recently. The biggest problem with HPI is finding parts for them. It's, it's kind of tough. But this guy's got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Look at this. Bind and drive custom 6x6. Six six. Look at... I think we've seen this guy's bodies out. You, you've been at other... Yeah. <laughs> you just finished this one? Yeah, because this was, that big one looks familiar. I think that was on a thumbnail on one of my other videos. And then look at that. Oh, look at that Viterra with that Viterra RTR. It only wants 250 for that. I mean, that one looks sick. Hold on, I gotta take a look at this. So he's got this one. So Viterra, the, the car itself, is cheap, but the body looks insane. Even with all the dirt, just how it sits. I mean, that is a good looking car right there. A good looking car right there. Wow. Sorry, I'm like all zoomed in because I'm looking at the car myself. Look at that little Bronco. Man, this one's this one's sweet. I gotta pull this one out and look at it. Guys, look at how clean. So this is a Viterra. I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, I thought it looks so cool how it looks how it with all the dirt. I thought he actually put the dirt in the tires and wheels. I was like, did you put the dirt on there? Because it it just looks so well put together. And so scale looking. Oh my god, this one is sick. He only wants 250 for it. If I got it, I wouldn't even take the dirt off. I would just keep it exactly how it is and then put it on the shelf. He's got some scale accessories up top. Also, the, look, I mean, these little details. Insane. I mean, that's a killer deal, guys. I just. Uh, I don't want to buy new cars, but my god, that's, that's freaking insane. He always does a great job on his trucks. Look at that. We shot this one before, like I said, and then like he's got a, a big rig. <sighs> this is a new one. Look, he's got bullet holes in there. Oh man. The windshield, the door. Yeah, that's. Lift oh. the hood. What? What? Lift the hood. Lift the hood. Oh. <laughs> he's got a little diesel engine in there. Insane guys. He does amazing work. His patina bodies are sweet. Oh, there's stuff in there too. What's the battery? Where you put the battery? Oh, that's pretty cool. Dang, that one is. And that's all custom stuff that you've done. All 3D printed. All 3D printed. Wow. Probably some of the coolest custom crawlers. Oh my God, he's got some good stuff over here too. Looks like he's got. Oh, it's a Snap-on. The Snap-on. Uh, yeah, hot rod. Oh, you just pulled stickers out. Oh, <laughs> RTR Fortec brushed. Mustang. Look at these things. We should take these and just drive an X-Max through it. It's got some motorcycles. Those little off-road motorcycles are cool. Oh man, and then he's got these micro X's, like mini Z's. Oh, all right. All right, so look, I'm not gonna go walking around because I didn't have my, I didn't even have time to put my gimbal on, but still a lot of stuff to see. Oh, we just saw that guy yesterday too at the uh, bashing event. This is the guy we saw at the uh, the bashing session yesterday. He was telling me about his techno that he was selling today. And then I think this one's fully loaded. It's already got electronics on it. And then the Rustler 4x4. Oh, look, look at this stuff. Oh my god, look at that power supply down there. That Losi bag is pretty sick. If I could run Losi. He's got a whole bunch of cool stuff here. You know me guys, I'm a sucker for bags. Tamiya engine box. Losi jumps. All, he's got a whole bunch of cool bag stuff. I'm a sucker for bags and containers and things like that really really nice bodies that looks like a tactical unit body oh look at the jurassic park defender that looks pretty sick yeah that looks good man so cool these power supplies guys these things are so freaking expensive he wants a hundred dollars well <laughs> they are super expensive aren't they uh anything max amps is super expensive if i had to guess it's probably two hundred dollars plus I think he only wants a hundred, only wants a hundred bucks for it. That's a good deal. If I was in market for uh, power supply, but the thing about chargers for me now is I don't, I don't ever want a charger that is a DC. I want it to be AC, meaning it doesn't need a power supply. So it's got some cool stuff here. This guy's got some older stuff. Check this out. Look at the Ford Rally Cosworth. 
I don't even know who makes that. Panda radio control? Pirate? Like, the thing about this stuff is if you know about it, it might be really valuable. I have not a clue. He's got some other older cars up here. Crawlers. There's a Latrax. Some, golly, I got I gotta get moving, so I gotta start I gotta start making some moves. Look at that little crawler. That's pretty cool. Oh, Twenty dollars for that. Military truck. There's those bags. They're still there. They're still there. All right. So we've been all through here already. All through here. Uh, we gotta go out there. There's a there's a table out there, and then there's this table right here that's got obviously it's got a Revo and some other cool stuff. And then this guy, there's guys sitting up over here. So there's still people getting here. I think it's probably just past eight. This thing started at eight. So yeah, this is a good one. I figured this was gonna be a good swap meet because this one actually got moved around a little bit. And when it got moved, every, there were a lot of people that were upset that it got moved. So that means that there were a lot of people that were planning on going, but great swap meet guys. Oh man, this guy just got here with his stuff. Guys, look at this body. This is a Fast and the Furious body like the the Eclipse and Fast and Furious one. That looks pretty sweet. You put the decals on there and it will look just like it. How's, how's it going, man? He's got a UDR over there. He's got an e Revo. So when, it's hot, when I saw this e Revo, the first thing I caught that caught my eye were these aluminum anodized push rods. These things are not freaking cheap. I, I mean, that's an expensive Revo. He's got a whole bunch of upgrades on it. And that's not even pulling the body off. So, golly, it's super nice. UDR, super nice. Yeah, we're going to be asking about his stuff. Is your stuff here? Yeah, man. What do you want for the Revo and the UDR? Well, it's my brother's stuff. He's getting married. Okay. So he's trying to get rid of it. Uh, it comes with a 6S brand new LiPo uh, DX5 GPM arm. DX5. He's got a whole, bunch of, got a whole bunch of stuff. He's made up 600 bucks. How much? 600. 600? Yeah. I see stock going for 650, 700 yeah, bucks. I think it's fair price for sure. Yeah. And then the Revo? Oh, he wants 350 for it. Dude, that's a killer deal for that yeah. Revo. Yeah. The only God. thing is, it's a roller. It's got. Oh, it doesn't uh, have electronics. Have ESC. He had a, he oh, okay. It on fire. Oh, he cut it on fire. <laughs> I have way too many E-Revos, but man, that one's clean. You can tell he's got a whole bunch of upgrades. Uh, that's nice. Super nice. The tires alone are freaking pricey. Good looking truck. Wow. Look at this STI guy. So as soon as I walked over here, I said, "How long did that body take to make?" And he said, "Forever." Didn't even <laughs> didn't even have a time. He said, "The 106 stands for how many stickers you had to cut out to make the body look like that." But I mean, that's not just the body. It looks like he did a good a, a good paint job on it, also. But my goodness, these Tamiya kits. I'm telling you, that's the one thing that deters me from building all the ones that I have. The body builds take forever. But when they're done and you do them right. Super rewarding builds. I just, man, I don't have the time for that. Looks like he's got a really nice STX24. Oh, look who it is. It's my boy, Doug, like, repping MSM. What's hey, boy, up, dude? <laughs> What's up? Like, exactly. Oh, so that, that's my, that's my Tamiya guy. So he caught, <laughs> he got, it caught his eye too. But I was just telling. I still have it in the box. I was just telling the camera. Is this your Tamiya guy? Yeah. Yeah, that's my Tamiya oh, guy. Hey. <laughs> this is my, this is my Tamiya guy. Nice he was just talking about John too over that his, oh. at his stuff. But yeah, he knows. He knows how long it takes yeah, uh, why to build that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a nice, those, those charges are nice yeah, if you can find I those. I have a couple of those already though. How's it going? Yeah. He's got some crawler stuff over here. Nice crawler stuff. Tires, looks like a, an Axial Bomber. It's all done up, super cool. All right, we got one more table. There's more people coming in. Oh my God, there's more tables over there too. Uh, we haven't even bought anything yet. We're doing good. And then we got to go back and actually sell the stuff. All right, so this table is like two rows away from everything, but oh my God, he's got some amazing stuff. First off, he has the SCX6, awesome truck. I still have mine. Mac Design still has mine. He's doing some stuff to it. I don't know if he's done, but this right here, they don't make this anymore. This is the, I think it's Brian Deegan. I think that's his name. Anyways, Deegan rally car. So clean. He says it has a castle system in it. He wants 200. Great deal. I'm about to start negotiating that one. Nice crawler. He's got, looks like, like a red cat body, but maybe a drag body. Vortex 300. Oh, oh look at that. The Sen. The Sen Dually. Look at that. Oh, man. That looks freaking good. 
got some. Yeah, three kids. We had look, see how all this is empty? It means he probably sold some stuff already. That sucks. I kind of want this Brian. We're gonna we're gonna take the body off this Brian Deegan rally car. I think is it Brian Deegan? I know his last name is Deegan. Let me move this out of the way. He says it has a castle system in it, so we're gonna see. Like when I look for castle systems, I'm looking for how well it integrated. Okay, it looks like looks like it's been through some. So it's got some rust on the screws. That is a castle system. That's probably a. So that 100,000 RPM max, maybe a 5,700 or 6,000. Super clean. I'm almost more of a buyer with the stock brushless stuff. The VXL doesn't have any turnbuckles. It's just the basic rally with the brush system. Uh, dang it, guys. Dang so it. I like it, guys, but it looks like it's going to need too much work. And I don't want to work on... I don't need another project right now. I need to try to clear projects off, but... Dang. It's cool stuff. See? Look. Okay, so this is... He's selling his stuff over here, but look. This Fox body, these... Again, licensed. I love Fox bodies. That's pretty freaking cool. If you can ever pick up a slash for like a normal slash deal, like 150 with a licensed body like that, that's a killer deal. He's got a really nice body here. I don't even know what the... What, what kind of truck is this? Oh, that's a TRX4. I like those wheels, the wagon wheels. Looks good. We got some plain stuff over here. You know me, guys. I'm not a big plain guy, but look. Look at these. He's got the, he's got the big boys. I promise that I'm gonna be running my big car soon. I promise, just not yet. There's another big boy. Dang, this is what I need. I need the B, the low CB. That one looks good too. I bet you was asking 1500, my guess. Man, those are nice though. Oh, that one's, not, <laughs> that one's not for sale. He quickly came over to tell me that one is not for sale. That one's beautiful, dude. That's the one that I was interested in. Yeah, I just <laughs> I painted this one on um, Wednesday. Oh, really? You painted it Wednesday? Yeah. That looks good, dude. I like how you integrated the paint with the wheels. Yeah. That looks good, dude. Then he's got... I don't even know what... I forgot what they call these, but... That's gas. And it's huge. Alright, moving on. Here's another table over here. Looks like on-road stuff. Nitro on-road stuff. I've always wanted to get a nitro on road. Never have. There's no tracks close to me. But look, this guy's got like a full blown hobby shop over here. Tires. That that's the old school starter box. That was my first starter box ever, was that blue starter box right there. Like it was kind of old and bulky, but that thing had torque for days. And then it's got a whole bunch of parts. Man, we got a lot of stuff. Jeez. I gotta start. Oh wait, oh, that almost looked like a Filipino flag. I got excited. All right, guys, my Tamiya consultant, he brought his sand scorcher over. Look at how clean it is. He redid the body. I was just telling him, like, the, the body looks so good. And it's like when he puts these little black pinstripes here, the black lines, it just makes it pop so much. It looks so freaking good. This is the second body he's done. This is the first one. And he's <laughs> given me the first one because he wants me to build my sand scorcher so bad. And I haven't, I, I'm like, dude, I don't want to build it. The body's going to take too long. So he's like, how about I give you my old one? And uh, then you build it. So I got a body now. We're good. But look at this engine. This engine is insane. The details are just incredible. The amount of time and work it takes to get it to look this good is is un it's unreal, guys. Like I don't think I have the patience for it. But my God, I can definitely appreciate a beautifully built Tamiya car. Guys, check out this build I just came across. This guy put looks like it's like a looks like almost like a Tonka truck it's not a Tonka truck but it's on a nitro stampede with an electric conversion golly look at this that's freaking awesome look at the bottom nitro stampede style but the body is <laughs> it's funny oh man this is such a sweet build these are the cool things you can see at these swap meets people's kind of projects and a lot of guys will bring their cars out to kind of just show everybody not really sell it because they're proud of them and they're freaking awesome. Check out this guy's cars. He's got two low riders. He's got the Impala and the Monte Carlo. Oh, I've got to get one of these. We're going to put it in a parade. We need, 
We, we had one in the parade last time and it stole the show. But those are so freaking cool. He's got a drag slash, the Summit. That's the low seat drag car. And then he's got some other RTR stuff. Look at these things. Oh my gosh, seriously. Oh man, oh, so many good things here. It's insane. But that is a wrap, guys. I think we saw everything. People are starting to leave now. A lot of stuff is already sold. I'm not going to tell you what I got. I did get some stuff, but I'll do it on the next video because, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of uh, swap meet content. Hopefully, they don't wait too long to do this again, or maybe I can find some new ones. If you know of some swap meets that maybe I should check out, please comment in the description. Not in the description. <laughs> Send me a message or comment below because I want to check them out. I think they're awesome. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.